Alright, all my 2,363 subscribers and counting, thank you guys for supporting my electrical installation um, channel. Um, electrical installation to e where we just do tutorial videos and so forth like that. And also other videos as well on electrical, um, whether you learn something from it or not. But I want to thank you guys and hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. Christmas season coming up. Hope you guys enjoy it to the fullest. Well, our um, time has expanded like a night curfew and so forth. So, hope you guys um, enjoying it as much as you can and make be a blessed one. Have fun with the family, the children, the wifeys, or the side chicks, anything that you want to call it, the friend, the thugs. But yeah guys, today what we're gonna do, we're gonna do another tutorial video about what and what what you can do and what you should not do um, in terms of Cat5 or telephone wire. A lot of people call it telephone wire or internet wire. Um, but the right name for it is Cat5 wire. Um, it, it has multiple purposes where it can use for a camera system and it can use for either, um, it can use for internet, it can use for a lot of things, um, the cat 5 wire I use for a multi-purpose thing, but um, actually there's something about it that a lot of people don't really familiar with, a lot of people now haven't been in the situation where they have to use or do certain things, but I'm going to um, show you guys what you should not do and what you should do whenever time you have two cat 5 wires need to be joined, get it right. When you have two cat 5 wires need to be joined, there are some things that you should not do and there are things that you can do. As a matter of fact, I'm going to tell you one thing that you should not do and one thing that you should do, uh, which is correct thing. Um, but yeah, uh, you ever been in a situation where you have a cat 5 wire maybe being short or you need to extend or you need to have an additional internet or so forth like that and you want to continue but you fall short somewhere or anything like that. The best solution is to get a jar box. Um, in the Jarbox now you can do the right thing. So yes, now we're gonna show you guys which is the wrong way to do this by joining this wire. Here we have two cat 5 wires right here. Right? And we need say for instance we have a Jarbox somewhere and we want to join these wires um, to continue. One, we should not do this guys and I'm gonna show you what you should not do. First I'm gonna strip off the installation Okay, so here we have pairs of wires. So for instance, in this case, you can do multiple things. You can uh, carry two um, internet wires separate or landline wires separate, anything. You can have different cameras, uh, cameras if you're using it. So these have purposes, that's why they appear. But most common, we, um, we use the blue and the white. So in this case, we're going to use the blue and the white. So this right here, we need to join with this one. So I'm going to go ahead and strip this as well. So there you have two sets of wires right here. But we need to join this blue and this white together, right? Okay, so I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna strip this wire right here. Here you have it. So now we're gonna join white to white. We're gonna color code it. Go by the colors. So the origin, the wires right here. Whether it's in a draw box or anything like that, then you tape it. This is not the right way to do it. So this is a no 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 guys. These wires are easy to, well, easy to break off and so forth like that. They are that soft, they are easy to break and so forth like that. This is not the right way to join these wires. 
So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you um, the correct way and the right way, the proper way to join um, Cat5 wire slash telephone wire, whatever way you want to call it. So here we have two different sets of um, Cat5 wires right here. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and strip off the insulation again. I'm going to take the two, the blue and the white here and I'm going to wrap this Okay guys Same as well. Not using these wires right here, guys. So so now this is the correct way to join these wires. So right here we're going to join this wire as we're going to join blue with blue, white with white. But before we do that. Here is something that you guys, a lot of you guys not familiar with, with what we're going to use to join this wire, which we call um, scotch lock connectors, or some people may know it as UI2 connectors, which is this right here. So you can see, guys. You can see right here. So, this is what we call um, scotch lock uh, connectors are some people may refer it as um, UY2 connectors. Uh, whichever way you want to call it, whichever way you can memorize it or remember it or anything like that. It's not used as commonly, it's not used like every day, but circumstances, sometimes in situations we do use these uh, for continuity and so forth like that because. Um, one of the main purpose sometimes we can actually use is, is like for instance we carry in one cat5 wire from the the cable company um, the internet company coming to the building we want to have two different landlines to it or so forth like that we want to use a pair of this wire for one of the landline one for the other we use this to join or if you have the internet system anything like that you need to join so what we're going to do now uh, we're going to insert these wires. Alright, I'm gonna go with the, the white first. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna insert it right inside there. There is a hole right there. And if you notice, if I just push it in just like that, it can easily well come out. If you notice there are some gel there. Yes, very important. So I'm gonna do insert it right there. And I'm gonna insert the other one right there. And the next thing you have to do is get uh, pliers and then you squeeze the color um, part right here. Which is the color part right there. That is where you're going to use to clamp it. Clamp it right here. And then there is some liquid, um, some gel that come up right here. You can see it guys. Yes. So, we clamp it right here. Um, so now we're going to do the other one right here. Uh, if you notice guys, I have stripped the wires, don't need to strip it. Uh, for time consuming, best for you now. It, uh, it don't have to be stripped or anything like that. Once it's inserted right in, inside of it, um, what it does, it creates a, a connection driving a U-turn counter right here. If you look carefully guys, you can see right there. So what it does, it creates a U, a U counter. Um, so I'm gonna crimp this right here. So it creates a, a, a U contact displacing the insulation. Um, the gel, um, the gel is released at the the same time, which um, protects the connection from moisture. So when you squeeze it, the gel release. Um, yeah, and it protects the, uh, the connections from moisture, so no moisture get in there or anything like that to actually um, cause any corrosion, anything like that, anything like that. So that's the purpose of the gel also for the frequency as well. 
to flow as well. So that's the purpose of the gel in it right here. So this guy, guys, is a correct way to join a CAD5 wire, whether you call it CAD5 wire or telephone wire, whatever you want to call it. This is the correct way to join it, if you can see right here. So that is a pair of, um, uh, of internet wire. What if I want to cut um, another landline and I need to do it? What I need to do is just find another pair, just like that. And I'm gonna use blue and uh, brown and white right here. And brown and white right here. No need to strip the wires. All you have to do is just insert and clamp and that's it, just insert, clamp, bam, here's another one, so right here we have two different, we have two separate landlines. But this is the proper way to connect a cat 5 wire or U Y2 wires. Whichever way you can memorize, whichever way you want to call it. But this is the correct way, this is the proper way. So guys, this is the end result as, as I was explaining to you guys about the, the connection or the joining of um, the cat 5 wire where we use the scotch lock are you Y2 um, connectors to join um, the wire right here this is the end result of it um, and this is actually where we just have the shower right here we feed somewhere else and it so happened that we have two line coming in, in instead of one so actually we have two internet right here instead of one with the change of plan and in that situation we just improvise and just use this to just actually feed somewhere else independently Guys, remember, electrical insulation should be easy. I'm looking back for, for your comments and support like that. Make sure you stick to the channel, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the videos as well, guys. Share the video just like I'm sharing my knowledge by helping you also contributing by sharing the videos and support. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. Stay safe. Have fun.